at all it's just me just been me basically so if anybody's watching this for any serious ebay tips and charity shopping tips and hair tips and makeup tips sorry like i think i've said before in the other videos that isn't me because i did ask somebody comment um on one of my videos i might ask the price guarantee about <laughs> oh my god Put, what did he say? Put Do some preparation before you put your camera on. Oh, all right, booty. <laughs> Fair enough, you're entitled to your opinion, mate. But oh God, at the end of the day, my videos aren't meant to be serious. If, if you don't want to watch them, that's fine. No, I'm not forced. No, you can do what you want. It's free country. So the reason I'm trying to cover the top of my head is because my greys have come through. I've got an appointment next week at the hairdressers and I'm I normally touch it up myself but I'm a bit reluctant to do that at the moment because it'd be a waste of money because I'm having it done next week. So I've been using this, I got this off Amazon, um, everyday hair mascara, which is pretty good I have to say, but obviously there's a few little bits that I keep missing. So that's why I'm actually trying to cover the top of my head. So, oh. That's a newspaper. We get free newspapers. Sometimes we get them, sometimes we don't. But to be fair, they are a load of rubbish. They're just full of adverts. Who wants that? Well, you know. Anyway, so that's a free newspaper delivered. I'm just off to the charity shops in a minute to do, well, to buy some stuff. So I have actually bought some stuff last week. I'm going to do a haul and a try on. So... <laughs> That'll be what I'll be doing in a bit, but I'm off out in a minute. I can't tell what the weather's going to be like because I've just seen the girl who's just delivered the papers has got a coat on and a couple of people earlier. I've seen walk past and go. So I've got my Primark top on. This was brand new. I think it was about three ninety nine. This I've got a very very similar one, which I think I wore in another video. But this one is the charity shop one, and I think it was two ninety nine. It's only as that. And my jeans, I don't know if you can see my jeans, no you can't because I'm not, but these were brand new weave tags, Dorothy Perkins ones, and I think they were only 2 99 and they're elasticated, so even better. So yeah, sorry for rambling, but basically what I'm trying to say is, I don't mean to offend anybody by my videos, um, please don't take me seriously, because I don't take me seriously and I don't think nobody else does anyway, so... Like I said, this is my charity shop outfit of the day. Now, you've got to bear in mind, I'm 46 years old, so I'm no, I'm not very stylish, but the way I see it, as long as I've got no food down my top and I've wiped the chocolate from my mouth, I'm pretty presentable. So, yes, <laughs> so I'm off out in a minute to the charity shops, get some more bargains, hopefully. So that's it, so I'll see you in a bit. Thank you. See ya, bye. I'm back. That was loud, wasn't it? Sorry. Uh, yeah, I've got a bag full of stuff. Not farm food stuff, charity shop stuff. I'm gonna have to do the haul and try on tomorrow because it's getting a bit late now, it's getting quite dark. Basically, I'm late because I ended up talking to the neighbour, then talking to a lady I know around the corner. And then I wanted to go to the builder's yard to have a look at some wood. Because uh, we've got fitted, old-fashioned fitted wardrobes in our bedroom. And I painted them white. And they just don't look right. So I'm looking to do the, you know, like the shaker style. So I just wanted to see how quite expensive, really. You know, wood about two inches, you know, really thin. I was planning to see how it stick that on. And then paint it and do like a um, shaker style doors. Because at the moment, although it looks better white than it did the old 70s brown colour looks really odd you know when you look at something and you're like I don't like that like you know <laughs> so if that don't work it's coming down and we're gonna have sliding doors but hopefully that will work so anyway what I'm trying to say is I'm late because I got distracted by several other shops so I've still got stuff in that bedroom that I want to show you that I got last week when I went out with my sister got some bits and bobs there um 
Yeah, uh, the one charity shop had a sale on. So it was um, half price on everything. They said just for today, literally everything. But I, I only seen a few things that I fancied. So, so but, you know, and then we're like, oh, what well, couldn't you have been half price last week? We had loads of stuff that I seen that. I thought, well, that's nice, that's nice. But they, that's the way it goes, isn't it? So I thought, right, I fancy something to eat. I'm hungry. So the one charity shop right down the bar, and uh, that charity shop, one um, cafe, I thought, I won't get to that one, I'll go to the one further up. So I go to the one further up and it's closed. Apparently they shut it off too, which, why? I don't, I don't know, but obviously maybe, you know. So I thought I'd go to the tea room further up as well. They, it's very like, um, the maybe old fashioned, genuine like tea room look. It's lovely in there, they go in there quite often, but that was shut as well. No reason, no sign on the door. There's an old bloke standing outside. He's going, I'm going to phone her up. Because the phone number's on the top. I thought, I'm sure she'll appreciate that. But I don't know. I said, maybe she's on the toilet or something. Who knows? So so I couldn't have me tea. So that was annoying. So I thought, right, I'll have some chips. So it's took me that long to walk up the road because I've been eating chips out the packet all the way up. Because why not? <laughs> you know? So very nice love me chips so does Trixie so I've had to say some for Trixie Frank Lloyd we've got two dogs Frankie and Trix basically they Frank likes them but you can see he's not that keen but Trixie loves them she loves chips every time we have chips we, when I'd make them as well over chips we have to make overs just for her so they've just got the chips a lot of says oh, the reason I'm standing I don't even mention the reason why I'm standing in me landing because my bedroom is a tip at the moment so tomorrow I'll have to tidy it before I show you what I've got because it's it's embarrassing you know when you look around you know what a poo hole this is today <laughs> so that needs tidying up uh, yeah you, have you ever watched people doing the house tours I watched one yesterday when I looked at this woman's house and it was so perfect you actually think do you even live there I, I don't know, so it's weird. I mean, it was beautiful, beautiful house. So, you know, it was like everything was grey and white and perfect. No, I don't know anyone with a house like that. <laughs> and she had two children and one on the way. She had like the perfect hair, perfect makeup. Even the husband looked perfect. <laughs> so, I don't, I don't, my house isn't perfect it's just it's a normal house it's cozy i think you could call it cozy so that's why i'm not in that bedroom at the moment because it's it's a mess so i'll see you tomorrow bye hello again i've got the pile i don't know if you can no you can't see <laughs> i've got the pile of clothes that i bought yesterday and over the past month so all from the charity shop so Today's outfit, this top is an eBay top. Um, it was brand new with the tags. But these trousers, where's my camera moved? Hang on, if I can move my camera down a bit. Can you see? These trousers are what I bought in the haul last month, the charity shop haul that I forgot to do a try on. So I'm going to do a link down below to that charity shop or if anyone wants to look at that if you don't that's okay but i'm going to show you what i've got here so the first item is i've already washed it and it's got that's why it's got no tag on but i haven't tried it on yet but it's next top it's just a plain well it's not plain actually it's got little holes in i just thought it was quite nice it's very pretty so hopefully it fits because I haven't tried it on. I put the camera like that so you can see. Can you see it? I thought that was quite nice. I think I only paid two pounds for that, so I'm quite pleased with that. For two quid. Then the next item is again. I, I don't know why I've took the tags off these, but it was um, Marks and Spencer size twelve and it was originally twenty nine pound fifty. I uh, don't know why I bought it, if I'm honest, because it's it's lovely, but I think it's one of them ones you wear like that. Actually, it kind of matches my trousers, but I've never wore a top like that before. So I 
think this might be a fail, but I think I only paid 250 or something like that. It was only cheap. I, I I don't know why I bought it. I think sometimes I just get a bit carried away. I'll see something really cheap and I'm like, that's a bargain. I'm having that and then I get it out and I'm like, I ain't going to wear that. But you never know. I might be surprised. So the next item is, it's only Asda. And it was a quid. It's just a plain, it's a nice soft material. Plain purple top. Which I thought was, well it's nice because it's just plain. Next item is again Asda. 150 in the sale. They did want three quid. But I just thought it was nice bright. Nice bright top. 150. So bargain. Next item. TU. I think it's Sainz Sainsbury's. Yeah, I'm sure it is. 399. That's quite a lot for me. But again, just like the nice simple top. Three quarters. Is it three quarters? I don't know. For nearly three quarters, but I thought that was quite nice. Next top. Again, it's not a top. It's um, uh, you know, like a. What do you call it? Like a cardigan type top. New look. Again, I've washed it and took the labels off. I don't know why, because I should have saved it to show you. I think this one was this from the one I think this was one from the 199 shop. The Blue Cross. So that was quite nice and flowery. Right again. Like that. This one. I don't know why I bought this one. I don't know if it's a colour or what. Again, I've gone and washed it and took the labels off. Sensations. Never heard of it, but I can't even tell if it's green or blue. I'm not gonna go. <laughs> I just thought it's quite nice. I think again that was from the one ninety nine Blue Cross. This one, it's only as um, not Asda, Primark. Primark. It was originally only a tenner. So I paid three quid. I just thought that's quite nice. Again, just. Three quarter length sleeves, which I like. I'm going to try that on. Hopefully that fits. This one. Principles. Which was, this was from the half price shop. So it was only two quid. I'm not sure if it's going to fit, to be honest, because it, it does look a bit small. But I thought, well, it's got loads of buttons. So if it don't fit, I'll just wear it open with the top underneath next i'm getting through them quite quick now i've been trying to avoid sheer material because i'm getting fed up wearing tops underneath but i've seen this one and it was only three quid and i just like the pattern three pound bargain and this one this is a tu again another see-through one so I know I shouldn't keep, I don't know why I buy them, but I like them. Well, look, that's obviously why I buy them, because I like them, but that's quite nice for three quid. What's, hang on, hang on, there's some on the floor. This one. Here's another top from a shop I don't know, Cameo Rose or something. And that was three pounds. Just a nice sleeveless top, which I thought was... Quite pretty, got a zip at the back. So that and where are they? Ah, these were in the sorry, give me head. Hang on a sec. Got them. These were from the half price shop, so they were only two pounds, brand new. They had no wear on them. I've got to be honest, I don't even know if I'm going to wear them. Look how high they are. That's ridiculously high. And they, I've got to be honest, they smell a bit. It's a bit damp, so I don't know. Somebody stored them in a damp area wherever the shop is, so I think I'm gonna have to spray a bit of Febreze on them because they are a bit sticky. Last item is a pair of Primark Primarni. Hang on, can you see labels? But they were in the half price, so they were only £1.50. I think they're like jeggings, leggings, brand new with tags for £1.50. Right, so I'm gonna try everything on. And do a try on so hopefully 
Oh, hang on, excuse me. <laughs> Fingers crossed they all fit. This looks okay as well, I think. Again, completely unflattering for the arms, but I wear a cardigan. I was thinking I might try it with this, but I think this, hang on, sleeves. I think this needs to be more with just a completely, oh, hang on, where's this? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it suits this. No, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if maybe that and that is a little bit too much and obviously with these dresses it's a, it doesn't fit at all but I just thought I don't know I have to decide on that I like, like I say I like them both but not together I'm actually lost for words <laughs> look at it look what the hell I don't, I don't even know how you suppose it. it's really tight around the arms Re I mean really tight I assume you're supposed to wear it like that if I shove my bra straps down a sec but it's just I don't know I really don't I don't I don't know what? hang on let's shove that down a bit is that how you wear it is it I don't know then it's all funny shape there and they're doing something wrong are you supposed to wear this top you can't go up like that look at it i don't think i'll be keeping this somehow i just don't get it are you supposed to wear it like that bargain's only a bargain if it's something you're gonna wear if it's something you're not gonna wear it's not really a bargain plain purple top i think this fits all right it's quite nice it is what it is it's just one plain t-shirt type top i quite like it i'm keeping it it's mine i don't know what to say about this if i hold my arms it is a lovely top, I'm going to admit it, he has the one. It's a very pretty top, but oh, the arms. I'm trying to hold my arms. I don't think, no, it's, it's not very flattering on the old arms, is it? But it's flattering on the old tummy. But I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I don't know, who knows. Uh, just a plain, simple navy top. Just what I like, so my kind of top. Nice and cheap, nice and simple, sorted. I don't think this is too bad. It's quite long, covers the bum. Again, not very flattering on the arms, but the cardigan will fix that. Tied it up. Is it, I don't know if it, yeah, that looks, that's okay. I think maybe a different pair of trousers. I don't think these pitchy pinky ones suit, but I'm quite pleased with that. I, I'm keeping it. Yeah, I like this one. This one's a keeper. Good old Prime Arnie, eh? Hey? <laughs> you can't beat it, can you? The prices, I mean, obviously the quality's not like, amazing quality, but this was only cheap anyway, and it only cost me three quid, so I'm happy with that. It fits. I didn't think this was going to fit, but it actually fits. And it's quite nice. I'm not quite sure if you're supposed to bow these. So you can bow it, see if that looks any better. I don't, know, I don't know if I like these dangly bits. I think they might be, uh, no, I was going to say I might cut them off, but it'll look, probably look odd if I cut them off, but I don't think that's bad, actually. Quite like that. I think I might wear it with a pair of jeans, though. So, yeah, I'm happy with that one. I think these look quite nice with these trousers. I didn't think it would match, but, yeah, happy with that. I think it's okay. That's all right. It's not very flattering for the old arms. <laughs> I'm sure I could wear a cardigan, but the only thing I don't like is the zip at the back. It's quite cold on my back. <laughs> I suppose it's something you could get used to. But yeah, I quite like this top. What do you think? I think it's okay. <laughs> mm. I couldn't find a black top to go underneath it. So I've got this long grey one. 
So I don't know what I think of this top to be honest, but what I've done is I've put it on Ooh, with them trousers which are super snug. They are proper snug. So to cover the old bum, I thought if I wear a different top I could put that over the top as well. And that's a bit more flattering, I think. Who knows? So that's my try on of everything apart from the shoes which I've got on now. So I'm just pre-warning you, if you don't like feet, I'm going to show some feet now. And it's not pretty because I don't find feet pretty. I think they're vile looking things, but we've all got them unfortunately. And I have made an effort. I put some nav on, Sean. Not a very good effort because I don't know about anybody else, whether it's an age thing, but I struggle to actually put nav varnish on my toenails. They always look a bloody mess, which is why I don't really wear open toe shoes very often, if any at all. But anyway, I'm going to show you them. So, bear with. So here they are. Two pound pair of shoes, which, to be honest, I don't think I'll ever wear in public. Because look at the size of them. I've got my jeans on again because it's starting to rain and them pale pink ones, I think, would not really suitable for this weather now now it's gone a bit chilly but they are nice shoes don't get me wrong but i'll say oh, i really don't think i'm going to be able to walk in them too big but two pound never mind that's all my haul now thank you everyone for watching if you've liked it please give me a thumbs up you can give me a thumbs down if you want but that's just mean <laughs> but if you want to be mean that's fine if you want to subscribe, that'd be brilliant. Thank you to everyone else who has subscribed. So I will see you soon with no doubt another charity shop haul because I'm always there. It's like a second home to me. So I'll be doing a Poundland haul soon as well. So if there's anything else anybody wants to see me do hauls of or give me some ideas, <laughs> that'd be great. So thank you all for watching. See you. Bye.